We sometimes talk about the uh, fittings that we put on our pumpers to aid us in the use of large diameter hose. And these are two uh, turn down elbows that are designed to fit on a six inch NST uh, pumper inlet. <clears throat> the thing of note is uh, they're both set up to take four inch hose. The one at the top is strictly four inch. The one at the bottom is four to five. The, the part of note, right, is let's look at the inlet opening and we can see that there clearly is a marked difference. That four inch coming in is uh, quite a small opening. It's about three and a half inches. And when we got this five inch coming in, the five inch storts uh, fitting into the five inch elbow, that is uh, just under five inches of opening. So you look through there, you know clearly that there's gonna be a restriction. Sometimes people wanna hook up the draft through these type of devices. And while you may be successful in drafting, you will probably have an impact on your maximum capacity. It's hard to say exactly what that impact might be. The best way to do that is to test it. So during annual pump testing, if you want to test your appliances and those things that you have uh, externally on your fire truck to allow water to come in, that is the time to do it. Because, right, we sometimes say in our classes, we've seen the enemy and we are them. That's very true. Our pumpers come from the factory perfectly capable of doing uh, a certain rate of capacity then we choose to buy external devices to help us out in certain situations under pressure when in fact if we leave them on for a drafting operation they could all be problematic so a good example of this uh, and it doesn't matter what manufacturer right manufacturers sell all kinds of appliances and adapters that you can request you need to be smart enough to know, hey, uh, what is the application of these? In other words, when do I use them and when do I remove them for uh, certain operations?